What's going on, y'all? This is Rob with Cinema Bullies. Today, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about when to do a C section on a female going off of a natural tie or an artificial insemination or a trans cervical insemination, a TCI. Um, rule of thumb is, you know, the day that you do any of those three things, um, you should get a progesterone test, at least two prior to doing the, you know, um, insemination. And so you get an idea of when your female spikes. And at her spike is the, technically the day that you start counting um, to the 63 days. A lot of people get confused and they guesstimate. And then sometimes puppies come out too early. Or the female goes into labor. And, you know, they have to do an emergency C-section or... You know, the female gives birth to the puppies. Now, that being said, um, if you do multiple ties or multiple um, AIs yourself, so if you do it, say, for example, day 12 and day 14, I would start counting my 63 days off of day 13 so I would go in the middle and I would count 63 from there because by the time I get to 63 either day it's going to be either 62 days or 64 days at the most that the female could be pregnant um, with the babies now all females are different depending on the size of the litter depending on the mother how big she is if you do, um, you know, natural birth, you know, it's no big deal. The female's going to go into heat when it's t her body tells her it's time. Um, but if you have to get a C-section, which a lot of people do, most people do, you got to get very close to that 63-day mark as possible to ensure the health of the litter. Now, I'm saying this because I know... You know, plenty of people that, you know, say it's okay to do it at 59 days. It's good, okay to do it at 60 days. You know, basically, so if they somehow mess up their count of days or they think that it's... I don't know what they think, but for some reason they want to do it early. Um, usually that's a no, that's not a good thing because, you know, some of those puppies in the womb might not be fully developed all the way yet. So... You have these people that have litters, you know, six, seven, eight puppies at birth. And then, you know, you see them, you know, two, three weeks later, there's only four puppies left. Okay. So what happened to, you know, the other four, three, or two puppies that were in the litter? You know, they died. So why did they die? Um, most of the time, it's because they did the C-section too early. And the puppies weren't fully developed all the way. Something wasn't developed all the way. Either their, you know, maybe their lungs, maybe their kidneys, maybe their digestive tract, um, stuff like that. And then, you know, you know the difference between a puppy that comes out too early and a puppy that's full term, usually because they won't have hair on their muzzle area when they come out they won't have any fur like they'll look like kind of like a rat almost like they won't have enough you know fur developed around their face area around their muzzle and their eyes so usually that's a, a clear sign that the puppy came out too early then you know weakness and you know if they're lethargic if they're you know not progressing like the other dogs in the litter <clears throat> you know that puppy might have took off of the second insemination that you did, not the first. So, you know, the other puppies were 63 days, and that one was, 
you know, 61 days, which should be okay. But again, it's best to try to get close to the 63 day mark as possible. 64 days is cool too. Um, I believe I've heard people say that they've had females, you know, keep litters inside of them all the way till like day 66, which I mean, that's, I guess, really good. I mean, as long as all the puppies are healthy and, you know, the mother's good, it goes that those puppies should be 100% fully developed and come out thriving. So, um, so my whole thing is, when you do these seed, or these um, inseminations, if it's you know natural tie or AI or a TCI, do yourself a favor, get a calendar, mark the day that you do it, and count out 63 days from each date that they tie up and the date that's in between the two dates. So then you'll get it, you know, <clears throat> around about when time that litter should be taken out and you know if the female is real big and she's uncomfortable you know she goes into labor early you know say she goes into labor at day 61 okay so that means some of those puppies are 59 days old and some of them are 61 days old those 59 day old ones might not make it they might make it you know you got a 50 50 shot but like i said close to 63 is possible from both insemination dates if you just do one insemination then it's easy you just count 63 days from that date that's the day they come out no matter what so you know and i've had very high success rates in my litters out of six litters that i've had that i've taken care of or had I've had two puppies die. So, I think I'm pretty accurate with that, you know, an, uh, analogy or, you know, whatever you wanna call it, of going off of that 63 day mark, you know, when it comes to do, letting these dogs get C-sections or, like I said, natural birth. I mean, that's the easiest way to go because the female's gonna let you know when it's time. So that being said, like I said, I hope this helped you guys out. You know, don't confuse yourself. Don't overthink yourself. I'm guilty for doing that. I overthink. And that's, you know, can be a downfall for some people or it can make you make a mistake. So have everything written down. Go off of what you wrote down. Always, and if you're in doubt, you know, get a re reverse progesterone test. And that will tell you exactly when your female should be given birth. And, or at least, you know, it'll, it'll let the vet know that, you know, around about where she's at in the pregnancy. So reverse progesterones, I definitely suggest getting, especially if you're in doubt of when the female took. So, like I said, I hope this helped you guys out. And, uh... You know, let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, share. You know, let me uh, know what you think about that. I mean, it's kind of, kind of common sense, but, you know, I've seen too many people had these litters and then, you know, three, four, five, or, you know, sometimes more, you know, puppies die. So, you know, to me, it sounds like you just messed up the date on when those puppies should have came out. Granted, they could have defects and stuff like that, but if that's the case, then that means you, you know, should do a little bit more evaluation of what you're breeding to and what your what your female is if she's, you know, throwing genetic problems that cause unhealthy litters. So that's a whole other, other you know, subject. But like I said, just go off of that, you know, 63 days, you know, write it down, know it, consult with your veterinarian, and you know x-rays are cool too if you get around day 55 54 then it can give you around about how big the puppies are and how far along they are by the calcification of their bones and um you know all that stuff's important to um have a healthy 
litter and that you know all survives so like I said nobody likes to bury puppies I know I don't innocence is not something that's you know easy to um, see bad things happen to so I hope this helped you out like I said let me know what you think and uh, take care later